hello guys today we are going to look into something like this if you are not subscribed please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more videos that will come on your way so here i'm going to use for my dimension i'm going to use inches over here then i'm going to use 16.537 then by 11 point six nine three inches then for my resolution i'm going to reduce it to 72 so that the work will go flow then i'll click on great so this is our canvas now where we are going to work on this tutorial all right so the first thing now i'm going to view then to create a guideline and uh, i'm going to use 80 percent you can see it over here then and i'm going back again to create another one which is going to be the top i'm going to use eight percent so this is the one then i'm going to create another one which is going to be vertical then i'm going to use 20 percent okay so over here then you will see them and now i'm going to lock the guideline go to your rectangle i'm going to select a rectangle over here then after you select your rectangle the first thing is to create a rectangle i will position this one over here then the top then let it be over here then i'm going to duplicate this one or select another rectangle and I will draw a rectangle from here, then down to this position. I will bring this one down because I'm going to start from this one first. Okay, then go back to your rectangle, come to the top here, and I'm going to draw another rectangle over here and the bottom here. So now I'm going to turn this one off. This is the one we are going to work on now. Then go to your resource file and I'm going to import this image over here. Then you'll drag it over here to import it. Then I will drag it up and scale it. Something like this. Then I will drag it up. Then this is the particular area I'm going to use. Then go to your filter, select blur, Gaussian blur, and uh, over here is going to be 47.0. Then I'll click OK to leave it like that. Select it, right click and create a clipping mask then so that it, it will create this boundary. So it's not going to affect the other rectangle only for the middle one which is the main subject so here is the front page so now the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to draw another rectangle then take it from this position down to this position and then i'm going to make use of this code which i'm going to enter now a7 a5 a then one i'm going to make use of this color code then this one i'm going to duplicate it Control plus j to duplicate i will drag it down hold your shift key while you drag it up something this way and use your arrow key then to move it then i'm going to enter another color code ad then one c four five okay something like this then the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to my resource here and i'm going to bring this image so i created this image something like this okay then go back to your tools and i'm going to select this ellipse tool to draw a cycle then you bring it here now i'm going to arrange it so that it will fix in then go back and i'm going to import this image then you scale it out then i will rasterize it 
right click and create a clipping mask then you can adjust the image it's okay then this is what we have over there then the next thing now i'm going to select my test or i'm going to type what i'm going to use as my test now select your test to something like this then you scale it out then select your test tool and i'm going to make use of this font here so i'm going to include the font in the description so you can check there and get the fonts then i'm going to make it bold hold your control key then while you select this rectangle over here then click your vertical alignment to centralize the test okay then the next one i'm going to duplicate the test over here and now we bring it down then select your test to highlight it and uh, reduce the font size then i'm going to duplicate this one something like this then select your test tool again Y you type then I'm going to duplicate this one bring it over here then this test I'm going to increase it hold your control key while you select this one then use your arrow key then to move this one backward all right then now I'm going to edit this one and I'm going to change the font of this one to Ruti. Then increase the size. Now I'm going to duplicate this one. Then something like this and duplicate this one again then i'm going to bring this one over here then highlight it then you have something like this so now i'm going to hold my alt key then i will select from here and then reduce the size then you can group it together then the next thing now i'm going to draw another rent angle then apply a corner shape i'm going to use this color over here and bring it down then include it in this group reduce the size then now we adjust this one okay select your test tool and then over here i'm going to type and i'm going to change the font to acrobat then make it bold you bring it over here change the font color to white and increase the font size something like this so i'm going to select this one over here
and we will reduce the size then you group it together then you can use your arrow key then to bring, take this one up all right so now this is what we have here i'm going back to this background go to your blog and now we reduce the density of the blur. Thirty-three percent. So I'm going to leave it that way. Then and change the position. Okay, I think something like this will be okay. Then what I did, I will go back to. To the background over here then i will select rectangle then i will drag it to this position then double click and now we apply this color then reduce the opacity then around 12 percent is okay or 13 percent then apply your layer mask select your brush then reduce the size of the brush then I will clean it up then increase the size of the opacity something like this okay so this is what I did all right now we are going to group this one as the background and the next thing, select the rectangle we draw, we draw over here. What we are going to do now, go back to your resource file and import this image. Then reduce the size, position it over here and then um, go to your blending mode and then change it to to overlay our screen then before then i'm going to change the color of this background to this background over here it's okay something like this okay then duplicate this one control plus j to duplicate and Take this one up, reduce the size, then also reduce the size of this one. Then right click and create a clipping mask, something like this. So now we are going to select this one, then down to this position. Then Ctrl plus J to duplicate it, group it, and we take this one up, position it here, then you select it and reduce the size, something like this. So the next thing now, then I'm going to select this one and this one, then bring this one to the center over here then our position needs somewhere around the end then hold your shift key while you reduce the size of this one something like this i'm going to adjust the color then okay then go back to this one the top one then now as you can see i turn all of them on so this one now select a color that you will apply then also 
the one at the bottom select the column so you can adjust the color to any of the color you want something like this is okay so now you can see the appearance now by the time then you are going to do the finishing then it will come out different and nice so that is all on how to design a paper bag so these are the procedure the upper one you see here this is the area that you are going to fold so this area is going to be fold in then why the back here the, the i mean the bottom here is going to be folded also and the side here you see this side also is going to be fold right why this side also is going to be fold but we not take the measurement of this one okay because this one is not going to be folded that much just it's going to be a little something like maybe a little percent like this then we folded why something like this kind of area then we'll cover this place all right so that is all thank you so much for following if you like this video then please kindly subscribe then and turn on the notification bell so that you will not miss any of my video so after this one now then let me show you how you can apply a mock-up to this so now this is our mock-up then i'm going to show you how to apply a mock-up to this image now i mean to this paper background okay so as you can see then what you use this is the side so i'm going to bring in the side so over here this is the side then i'll position it over here like this then i will close it and save it so do you see so this is the side over there and now we are coming to the main front so now this is the front edge then close it and save it so you can see how it come out now and the remaining one this is the inside so you can see the inside over here now we are going to apply a column so remember the color we use we use a color like this then click ok then you can now close and save it so then the inside will come out like this so if you want to change the color maybe to be more to be dark so any color you want the way you want your color then you can apply any color of your choice over the inner folding so you can also see something like this then so that is the inner folding all right so if you like the video subscribe and turn on the notification for more video thank you so much for watching